Luigi, my latest invention is ready for testing. If everything goes according to plan, we can use this to make Waddle talk just like we do. Luigi, would you be so kind as to take this baby out for a test run? Sure thing, Professor. I don't know where I'd go to find the Waddle Dee, but I'll do my best. I promise I won't let you down. See you later. Okay, I know I have an entry somewhere in my diary about meeting the Waddle Dee. I bet it will tell me where to go. Let's see. Ah, here it is. Today I went to Resner's for lunch. I ordered a Resberg with tomato and onions, a medium beverage, and a zest cookie for dessert. Okay, I think I'm on the right track here. Just then, I was approached by a small red creature with two beautiful black eyes. He seemed to want my cookie, but that couldn't be right because he didn't even have a mouth. Yep, that's a Waddle Dee, alright. He was so cute that I gave him my cookie anyway, and immediately he absorbed it through the area where his mouth should have been, leaving me both astonished and delighted. Right before he left, he gave me a strange horn and a big hug. Once I get home from the weekly Flatface Poke Fan Club meeting, I think I'll put the horn in Mario's bed to keep it safe. So that's what I've been having trouble sleeping at night. Mario, what are you doing here? This is my house. I live here, just like you. Why couldn't you put that horn in your own bed? Because my bed is already full. What do you keep in it? The spaghetti that I don't want you to find. Wait, oops. I'ma find that horn, blow it in your face, and then turn your bed inside out. I'll be right back. But Mario, we don't even know what that horn does. It could be magic for all we know. What? Mario, are you sure about this? Ooh. Don't you want to think about what you're doing? Three. Come, Warp Star. Warp Star? Maybe that'll take me to a Waddle Dee to test this gadget on. Ah. Hey, you wanna come with me? No thank you. I just remembered I need to check up on my Tamagotchi. It's been a while since I last fed him. Okay, bye then. What is this place? Is this where the Waddle Dees live? Oh, hi. Welcome to Dreamland. Wait a minute. You're not the Waddle Dee. You only have one eye. That's right. I'm not a Waddle Dee. I'm a Waddle Doo. Oh yeah. There's a Waddle Doo in the fan club with me. I haven't seen him since Yoshi started wearing a hat though. I wonder what could have happened to him. So, what brings you here? Are you looking for a Waddle Dee? Yes, I am. I have this new invention I want to test out, and I need a Waddle Dee to help me do it. Well, I could've just helped you myself, but since you're so picky, why not ask that guy? Okay, thank you. Alright, there's a Waddle Dee in a blue bandana. Time to test out this invention. Uh, by the way, those of you who are watching the video, I'm going to show what you're seeing to Professor Egad so he can see if the test goes well. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness! What's wrong? My tooth hurts! You have teeth? Of course I have teeth! You can't see them because my mouth is invisible, but I have them just like you! Oh boy. I hope it wasn't this invention that caused this. Well, whatever the reason, you should see a dentist about that. Dentist? You mean the monster that tortures you with a drill? I'm not getting anywhere near one of those. Dentists aren't monsters. They're special doctors that check your teeth and treat them if there's anything wrong with them. I don't know, man. King Dignity went to the dentist once and that guy tormented the living daylight out of him. But isn't DDD a bird? Even if he is, he still has teeth. Ask him about it. He can explain. Okie dokie. You should come too. Well, it's true. Felt worse than it did last time Curry knocked me out of my own castle. And believe me, that was a horrible feeling too. I sure was glad when it was over. The dentist worked that is. Now I take good care of my teeth so it'll never happen again. Would you say it was as bad as it was before he drilled your teeth? Well, can't say it was any more for me than it was for Tough. It was Tough, huh? Well, you're Tough, too, and you got through it. No, no, Tough is a small child who lives elsewhere in the castle. He had a toothache just like me, 
and we were both scared to go to the dentist, but we both felt much better afterward. You see, the dentist only wants to help. Plus, if you don't have your teeth looked at and treated, they're only going to get worse. I understand, but I'm still scared. Can you talk to Top and his family? Nah, don't you remember? They never came back from that archery competition with Lolo Lolo and La La La. I've got an idea. My little niece, Baby Peach, is going to the dentist tomorrow. You can go together and keep each other company while you have your teeth checked. How does that sound? That sounds like a good plan. Okie dokie. I'll have Mario get your appointment set up. Mamma mia, that's the third time this week. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Hello, it's me, Mario. Hey, bro, it's me, Luigi. Oh, Luigi, how's the journey going? It's going fine. Say, can you do me a quick favor? Sure, what is it? You know how Baby Peach has a dentist appointment tomorrow? Yeah, do we have to reschedule it? No, no, we don't have to reschedule it. It's just that this Waddle Dee has a toothache and is afraid to go to the dentist. So I was hoping he could go with Baby Peach so he won't have to worry so much. Could you get another appointment set up for him? Okie dokie. I'll do that right after I clean up after my Tamagotchi. Bye now. Well, it's a crappy job, but it has to be done, am I right? The next day. Alright, the dentist should be here really soon. Oh, look at that. Here he is now. Uh, hello, I'm Dr. Otis, and I'll be checking your teeth today. Now, who's first? <coughs> Baby Peach. Okay, let's get started. Please come with me. Okay, Baby Peach, open up and say, ah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Your teeth look strong and healthy. You must be taking good care of them. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to clean your teeth with this special brush. Oh, that looks scary. Does it hurt? No, it doesn't hurt. Now I'll just get some... Wait a minute. Eh, my vision's probably just failing. Hey, I forgot to ask, what flavor of toothpaste do you want? A few minutes later. Thank you so much, Dr. Otis. That wasn't so bad now, was it? Maybe not for her, but it will be probably be a lot harder for me. However, I do feel calmer now that I've seen how well the dentist did with Baby Peach, so I think I'm ready now. Great. Hop up on this chair and we can get started. Okay! I don't know if it's just me or if you're seeing this too, but it appears that this patient does not have a mouth. Well, it's it's not so much that he doesn't have a mouth, it's just that his mouth is... invisible. Invisible? Well, I can't fix this guy's teeth if I can't even see them. I'm sorry, but you'll have to find some other way to get rid of that toothache. Yay! Uh, I mean, oh, nuts. Don't worry, we'll figure something out. Oh, that's pretty good timing. Hello, it's Mario. I hope you're not too busy. I've got a slight little problem here. Oh, Luigi, what's going on? So, that little pet you have, the Tamagotchi, was driving a cooked trooper car, and apparently he sank into the ground. He did? How? I don't know. It's not sandy around here, so it couldn't be quicksand. Maybe it's like one of those hidden chambers in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. You know, the ones where you can't see them unless, until you enter them? Hey, wait a minute. That gives me a great idea. What do you mean? Waddle Dee's mouth is invisible, so the dentist can't see his teeth, but maybe if we shrink, we can go inside and fix the problem ourselves. Oh yeah, I should have considered that when I had you make the appointment. I'll try and get your little pet out of the ground, and when you come back, we'll try out your idea. See you soon! I sure hope Mario was right about that hidden chamber. Hey, he was! Don't worry, I'll get you out of here soon, little guy. A little longer than a few minutes later. M mario why am I the one going inside his mouth? You're the one with the poltergeist. 
and it has that flashlight attachment that you use to see in the dark. Yeah, I guess you have a point there. Okie dokie, I'll be right back with the mini mushroom. Don't worry, I'll get your toothache fixed before you can list all the diseases in Dr. Mario's theme song. Hey Luigi, turns out we're out the mini mushrooms. So instead, I brought in an old friend of ours. Okay, come on in. Hello. Who is that? This is Dotty. She's a pixel that can shrink people to a very small size. She looks a lot bigger than a pixel. Now just wait and see her power in action. Okay, Dotty, take it away. Alright, here goes nothing. Thank you. Hey Mario, could you um, toss me over to that one of these? Okie dokie. Wow, sure is dank in here. Now what could be causing that toothache? <gasps> Holy shrooms, it's a virus! Usually cavities are caused by bacteria. What the virus doing in this Waddle Dee's mouth? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? Oh, I'm trying to find out what's making this Waddle Dee's tooth hurt. Do you know anything about it? No. Don't lie to me. Uh, okay, I don't know what's making this Waddle Dee's tooth hurt, but I think it may have something to do with the fact that he's been using candy gel instead of toothpaste. He did what? Hey, Mario! Yes, Waddle Dee? I think I may have been using candy gel instead of toothpaste. Oh, that's not good. Oh, uh, hold on. Hello? Hey, Mario. I found the source of the toothache. This Waddle Dee has a cavity that needs to be fixed. Do you have a tiny gorilla I can use? No, but I've got the little stylus that might work. I'll go get it. Hey, while you're at it, could you also get the red pill? There's a virus in here, too. And it didn't even hurt. I don't know why every dentist doesn't use a stylus. Well, I'm glad you were able to get that tooth problem fixed, but we still don't know if my invention works or not. But what do you mean? I got that Waddle Dee to talk, and that's what you wanted. But he was wearing a blue bandana. So? Unlike most Waddle Dees, Bandana Waddle Dee already had the ability to speak, so the test came out inconclusive. I want you to go out and try again, but this time, make sure that the test subject isn't wearing anything on their head. Why are you even trying to get Waddle Dees to talk anyway? I'm starting with Waddle Dees and then working my way up to flowers. But there are already are talking flowers. Haven't you seen the trailer for Super Mario Bros. Wonder? <laughs> 